Hi, how are you today? I um, got a new fruit and veggie wash that I wanted to try out. And so I got some broccoli. And um, in the bowl, I have just some water with the fruit and veggie wash. And then in this bowl, what I usually clean my vegetables with is, um, and my fruits with water and baking soda. So in this bowl, I have the water with the baking soda like I usually use. And in this bowl, I have the fruit and veggie wash. So um, I wanted to do this to test out the, the fruit and veggie wash and see how it works. I used to do my vegetables with um, vinegar and water, but then I read that baking soda and water was better for cleaning. So um, I got the broccoli and the veggie wash says you just put it in for one to two minutes. And um, so we'll set that in there. And then I've got here, I've got my baking soda with the water. So it shouldn't take long. So I used to do um, vinegar and water to clean my vegetables. And um, now I use the baking soda. So I'm curious, what do you use to clean your fruits and vegetables? Do you just rinse them? Um, is there some other something that you use that you like to use vinegar? Do you use baking soda? So um, I'm not sure because the vinegar is acidic, but the baking soda is alkaline. And then I'm just curious to see what happens with the fruit and veggie wash. So um, let's see here. I'm not sure how long, I'm not really timing it. So, and this is a bigger stock than I usually get. Um, I wash my bananas, my banana peels, everything um, usually gets washed before I put it away because then it's, um, it's clean and I know I could just grab it and use it. Um, broccoli and stuff like that, that's kind of fluffy. I'm going to be cooking this afternoon, so I do those as I'm, as I'm going. But anything that has a peel like a zucchini or oranges or bananas or apples, all of those get done um, before I put them away. And then things like carrots or celery, mushrooms, they get done as I, as I cook. So, but this is definitely something that I always do is wash them in some sort of way. So, let's see here. So I guess that's about a minute, I don't know. Let's see. I don't usually do any kind of swishing. So maybe my brain says that'll speed it up a little bit. So let's see here how it's looking. So it's looking pretty good. I don't know, this one still has a little bit of a haze on it. This is organic, by the way. I don't know. Um, do you buy organic vegetables or do you buy conventional vegetables? I always try when I could to get organic. Um, and I know that even though it's organic, some of the vegetables and everything is testing with toxins because it's in the groundwater, it's in the air, it's in the rain. So, so what I'm seeing is that this one still has a little bit of a haze on it and this one doesn't. So I don't know, I kind of think that's interesting. Even though it's organic, it still has um, a little bit of a haze on it and this one looks clean. So then it says to rinse it off with cold water. So I'll just rinse that off and then you tell me what you think. So shake that off okay so this one was washed with the fruit and veggie wash and this one was just rinsed in the baking soda with water so I don't have my glasses on so I'm sorry I'm squinting but I don't know that kind of looks different to me what do you think the one with um that was just rinsed in the baking soda still has kind of a haze on it and this one looks all bright and green so I don't know I'm pretty impressed with it what do you think Tell me what you think. I'd be interested to hear your comments. And if that's something that you think that you would try to use is the, the fruit and veggie wash. 
So let me know what you think.